The following program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes of sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Yesterday on Passions, American Princess Sheridan Crane was being hunted. Damn paparazzis. Let's go. Just like her dear friend Diana. While back in Harmony, the carnival was about to begin. This is all part of your plan for me to meet the locals. And I'm sure that you will know everybody by the time I get back. Here goes nothing. Ethan Crane asked you to marry him. Not yet, but he will. Besides the fact that you've never even met him, he's in love with that debutante Gwen Hotchkiss. He's going to marry me. You say anything about what you just heard. I mean about you having the hots for Miguel. Sorry, big sister. Please, come to me. I know you have no memory of the first 20 years of your life, but is it possible that this little girl is some part of your past? I've been expecting you. I'm ready for battle. You will not wear souls of mine. Where is that little mutant? Kate, what are you gonna do to Jess? I'm thinking of torturing her first, very slowly. Then I'll kill her. You two sisters fight more than any two sisters I know. Well, how would you feel if Whitney made up a poster with the words Simone loves Miguel in big bright letters on it? I'm not the one with the hearts for Miguel. You are. And the last thing I want is for him to find out. You want him to find out sometime. Yes. But when I decide to make my move, not because Jessica broadcast it all over the carnival, it's just a good thing I caught Jessica with that poster and ripped it before Miguel saw it. I would have died of humiliation. There she is. You brat! Let go! You tell anyone I like Miguel, I swear. Why don't you tell him? He's right behind you. Liar. Hi, Miguel. Hi, Jessica. There is something bothering Grace, isn't there? There's something I should tell you, Sam. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Hey. So, where's Whitney? Well, our daughter and Teresa have decided to volunteer for painting. I'm sure it was with a little gentle persuasion from you, TC. Well, that's why they put me in charge of carnival volunteers. Oh, you know, that reminds me I have to go get some poster board from the school. I'll go with you. Well, I can get it. What was it you are going to tell me, Eve? Well, I don't want you to get upset, Sam. Well, just tell me what it is. Well, something happened after you left this morning. Grace thought she saw a little girl in the kitchen window. No one was there. What? Well, she said she was tired and she thought her mind was playing tricks on her, but... W did she recognize the little girl? Well, she said no. Well, maybe Grace's memory's coming back to her. I don't know. It would be a miracle if it did. When I rescued her 20 years ago from that fire, she didn't know anything about herself or her family. And she's never remembered anything since? No. She said it didn't matter. But sometimes I wonder, if she's afraid, those missing years will come back to haunt her. You're wasting your time mooning over spoiled and selfish rich people like the Cranes. Mama says he's... they're nice, Louise. Oh, well, then why don't they pay her a decent salary for all the work that she does as their housekeeper? Which reminds me, I gotta talk to you about a job I got for you this summer. What summer job? Now's not the time. We'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> 